All right, guys. So I got this fixed up. Um, it was the harness, so I'm going to point some stuff out. I'm I'm glad this happens. So we can go ahead and use this as a um, a diagnostic tool to show you. So if you're putting one of these in, what I did not do and what you should do each and every time before you go through running the uh, the harness, go ahead and make the connections. You can do it all right here in the cab. You don't even have to run it out there. Keep it all plugged in. Test your camera before running it. That'll save you the pain that I just went through. That's first and foremost. <clears throat> I didn't follow my instructions that I give. So test it ahead of time. Now, with that said, nine times out of 10, these are tested on the bench prior to going out. So we do verify them. So I already know that I caused the problem on this, on this um, not powering up. <clears throat> and I caused it trying to go through the firewall. It is so tight. And like I said, there's already big cables coming through. Now, if you're, if you don't have those big cables, you can get away without doing it the way that I did. But we were trying to pull and force, and it, what it did is it something in here has has been pulled out from me doing that. So, gotta watch out for that. I should have tested things prior to, but that's what happened. So, pulling and pushing on this with too much force is going to cause a problem keep that in mind when doing the install now with that said we fired it up we saw the camera wasn't working i moved it over to the other input it wasn't working there that leads me to believe that there's a power issue first thing i'm always going to ask you is do you have a meter so it doesn't have to be a nice meter but you need a meter to test for voltage so i'm going to turn that to voltage with the line going across, that's DC, not alternating. Squiggly line is for inside the house. This is 12 volt. Okay, we're gonna wanna watch this. So I'm always gonna ask you first thing, does it have power? So we're just gonna go in to my leads. You can see that I got 14.5, the truck's running, that's what we're supposed to have. Now, that doesn't mean there's power down here. So, if after you test there, we're still not working, it doesn't mean there's not a problem in here with a pin or something like that. So, you always want to test in here as well. This one's a little harder because the size of my leads. Let's see if I can do it. Fourteen five coming through the plug. So now I know I've got juice going all the way through here. The only other thing it can be at that point is this um, voltage reducer. If you put your hand on it and feel it, it should not be burning hot. This one's good. It is going to get slightly warm. It's voltage going through it, so that's normal. Um, but if it's super hot, this is usually going to be the problem. You're going to want to. <clears throat> we'll have to address it. But again, these are tested before going out. Shouldn't have the problem. Always a good idea to hook it up in the truck, test things first before routing the wire. So with all that said, there's your diagnostics. I'm always gonna ask that. It's kind of your 101 diagnostics on camera testing. With that said, I know I've got power now and um, we are operational. So we can go back up here, activate it manually, press and hold the back button. Again, this is on this particular IntelliHall 2.0 system. First couple times you do it, you're gonna to have to agree to that. I've already agreed to it. The truck hasn't been shut off. That's why it didn't pop back on. Now I go front. Now we've got front camera. So to get back out, we go back. Back again, takes you back to the home screen. While you're in this menu or this interface, this is your settings right here. So. This is enable front camera, speed up trigger, and slow down trigger. So <clears throat> slow down doesn't really work. Just to be honest with you, we'll test it. I'll have the customer test it. Enable blind spot cameras. <clears throat> Customer's not gonna do it on this truck at this time, possibly at a later date. So we're just gonna simply uncheck that. 
and then exit back out. You can also shut them off on the dip switches on the module. There's some dip switches right here. The instructions tell you which ones to turn on and off. Before this one leaves today, I'm gonna go ahead and shut them off so by chance he doesn't have to keep messing with that. And then if we decide to add them later, we can. So this thing will also auto trigger. Both my camera modules auto trigger. <clears throat> both my camera modules you can pull up on demand. They both work separate ways. This one works by this button. My other one will work by the button on the uh, steering wheel. <clears throat> that in mind the auto trigger does turn on in a parking situation so it's got to see reverse first as if you're pulling into a parking spot there's your factory camera slip shift it to drive front camera turns on automatically and that will stay on give or take up to eight mile per hour it's not hundred percent accurate so if it shuts off at seven don't be calling me guys it's electronics it's reading data and data does funny things so give or take a couple mile per hour that will auto turn off um, once it gets above eight mile per hour and then to get back to your home screen let's do that so if you don't ever want to mess with that button you just simply do reverse then drive camera will pull up and go away go ahead and do it there's camera factory camera drive now if you go to well above eight mile per hour which we're not going to be able to do parked so i'm going to throw it back in and as you can see it just goes right back to your your home screen so that's it guys um start to finish even with some hiccups um front camera install wasn't that bad i gave you a little bit of diagnostic information as well so if you have problems along the way you've, you've got the information also we do provide the tech support to help you out so any questions as usual reach out to us um, the best way to reach us is through the website gm-navigation.com send us a message there on the chat messenger and be happy to follow up with you have a great day